at six, we're often feeling pulled in all sorts of different directions because we're trying to be loyal to so many things and we're trying to support so many people as well. And often we feel overwhelmed by the fact that we are really trying to contribute a bit like it too to everybody else's happiness. But unlike two, where, where two we're building an image of ourselves almost around this as the good giver, here we just want to feel safe. We just want a guarantee, some sort of a guarantee about what we can trust and what's certain. And because we can't find that or can't find that so easily, we end up in the role of the supporter. Well, I'll give what's not here. I'll be what's not here. I'll be the one that creates a safe ground for, the, for my family and for everybody else. I'll be the one that creates a family in this team. Even though the company is letting go of everybody right now, I'll try and create a safe space for us all that we can trust. I'll try and be that one that can do all of that. Um, this, is, um, this is from... Um, America, the American, um, so I, was say, I was going to say American dream, American beauty. And um, it's Lester Burnham. You've seen the film, have you? American beauty. This is how he begins. This is him narrating. He says, my name is Lester Burnham. This is my neighborhood. This is my street. This is my life. I'm a 42-year-old man. In less than a year, I will be dead. Of course, I don't know that yet, and in a way, I am dead already. And, you know, this is a very moving film in many sorts of ways, but it's, it's, I think it's also it's of somebody who has given himself away to this role of supporting everybody else. And in supporting everybody else, he's got almost no idea who he is, how he's feeling, and what's on his mind. It's a complete neglect of himself. Um, at the end of the film, the last lines are this. It's him narrating again. He says, I guess I could be pretty pissed off about what happened to me, but it's hard to stay mad when there's so much beauty in the world. Sometimes I feel like I'm seeing it all at once and it's too much. My heart fills up like a balloon that's about to burst. And then I remember to relax and stop trying to hold on to it. And then it flows through me like rain, and I can't feel anything but gratitude for every single moment of my stupid little life. You have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sure, but don't worry, you will someday.